Hey! So we are at a grocery store today and actually it's Buen Fin, which is the Black Friday of Mexico. We thought it would be cool if we talked about the different price comparisons between its Yangis and a supermarket and find out who has the best prices. So let's find out. Hey, what's happening? I'm I'm Rondell, and, and we, we are not out of wonder. Uh, we're gonna take you guys with us uh, this morning to a Tiangi's market. Yes. So we have an Airbnb in a great location in Santa Fe, and every Wednesday there is a Tiangi's, which is like a flea market mm -hmm. that's set up just steps outside our building. <laughs> close and super convenient they kind of open up I think around 7 or 8 a.m. and then they start to shut down around 4 or 5 in the afternoon and they got everything man lots of fresh fruits vegetables uh you'll see ready to roll hey the tingays are all vibe y'all the vibe of community the vibe of commerce and the hustle y'all the vibe of the hustle man and the vibe of familiarity um, all these people out here they come to this thing probably weekly and they're very familiar with the vibe man and they are thoroughly with it it's a festive, distinctive kind of vibration, man. And, you know, us being the people watching, culture vultures we are, we loved every second of it. people, her spot, this is where she comes to get our salsa verde stuff. Hmm. My girl is engaged in the hustle, baby. So typically at the Tiangis, we look for fresh produce, fresh fruits and vegetables. And I have to tell you, I love these kind of markets. I love the Tiangis and I will go to every single vendor or walk the link. Every single one. I just have to take it all in. Is anyone else like that? All in all, I definitely prefer Tiangis. Why is that? Um, I definitely, I love the vibe. Like you said, oh, it has yeah. a cool vibe, and I like shopping uh, from different local families and just seeing what's out there. I love that you can get so many different things. Like I said, I'm addicted to people watching. I'm gonna tell you what I saw over here. Wasn't a skinny person in line. <laughs> uh, can you guess what he is cooking, guys? Straight up, y'all. That's some pig skin, man. Uh, uh, that's the, the real deal, cooked on site, man. The whole area was all fried foods, potato chips, pig skin, well, pork rinds, excuse me, and, and, and things of the like. Um, but right next to them, we got the chicken stop, yo. Alitas. Okay, if you don't know Ronda, you must Alitas? know that he has to find chicken wings no matter where he is. Coast to coast, all over the world, baby. <laughs> Uh, so here's our little health station. Honeycomb. This is how you know you're getting your honey pure, baby. <laughs> It's the real deal though, man. This vibe is just so live, y'all. Shoes, uh, draws, uh, <laughs> all, all kinds of things, man. Anything you can imagine is out here. You can find it. Uh, detergents, vanishing gel, liquids all sold in mass. Interesting. Vinegar. Yeah, see, see. Aceite de coco. Cien. Okay, a hundred. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay, okay. Thank you. 
Okay, so that was the TNG's market, guys. Um, that's what's up. This is how people get their fresh produce around here. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, so dirt cheap. Make sure you get out early so you get the best pick of the produce that's there. There mm -hmm. are also some really good smells. These smell smells along the way, so you can get some hot food there that's being prepared on site. Um, it's just a sweet way to get your fresh fruit, man. Brought to you in your own neighborhood, Joe. Mm -hmm. So these markets are set up throughout the Colonias, uh, many different ones, and they come on the same days of the week. Right. Um, we a traveling the, market, yo. We are in the Santa Tere area, mm -hmm. and this one is on Wednesdays, every Wednesday. So, to get down to the actual price comparisons, I think before we did it, um, I made an assumption that the prices at the Tiangis would be way more inexpensive. But it was only for a few items. By and large, man, most of the items were almost like neck and neck, except for... Apples, and I think the greatest kind of <laughs> exception would be asparagus. That um, was a monster. At, the, at a grocery store, it was almost like three or four times the cost of a bunch of asparagus that you could get at a Tiangis. Yeah. yeah, so the price comparison showed that grocery stores were just nominally a little more expensive, but not enough to <laughs> not go to a grocery store. Right. All right, so where are we at, sweetheart? Pros and cons? Pros and cons, yeah. Well, uh, let's talk about what we thought about these stores, man. Um, the Tiangis was uh, convenient as all get out. Right outside the door uh, of our Airbnb, easy to get to, convenient. Yeah, and this could be psychological, but I kind of feel like the produce at the Tiangis is fresher than what you might find in some supermarkets. I don't know, man, that taste test was real, man. I had some pears that were delicious, from really where? good. From the Tiangis that were really, really good. Um, What's another pro? Tianese. Um, I think, I feel like I'm putting money into the pockets of families. We dealt with okay. families at the Tianese, uh, whereas at the grocery stores or supermarkets, I feel like I'm giving money to big business. Yeah, there's some pros about the grocery store. Um, they are open pretty much every day of the week, and uh, the Tianguis is only open once a week in certain neighborhoods. The appearance of food security. Um, at a grocery store, you feel like the food has been certified, you think that it's good, you know that managers and, 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 and workers have been looking at over the produce, uh, whereas in the Tianguis, you don't really know. Um, yeah, that's true. Like, um, in regards to food quality, um, we aren't comfortable yet buying meat from a Tianguis. Right, but, but it's the there if you part, want it. Yeah, yeah, it's there. Maybe seafood. Maybe we'll buy yeah, seafood. Yeah. But the grocery store, um, we're pretty used to and comfortable with buying meat there. True. As a matter of fact, there are a couple of grocery stores here that I would recommend, right? Um, that Soriana over here in mm -hmm. Del Sol is excellent. has excellent meat quality. I really like their, their selection of meats. Um, uh, for the most part, we really like Chidrari Selecto stores. Yeah, um, yeah. They seem really, really nice and have a, a good range of food and produce there. You know, with this whole COVID ordeal going down, we have a whole different standard for cleanliness and all that kind of good stuff. And those two stores uh, hold the standard. Yep. Of course, there's a Costco and there's the Sam Clubs. Um, but, you know, for local grocery stores, those, those are our yeah. picks. We also shopped at Fresco uh, Ooh, in Midtown nice. and had a really good experience there yeah. and loved the quality and variety of what they had. So it's a good store also. All right, y'all. If y'all dug the video, man, could y'all give us a uh, thumbs up? If you have not subscribed, hit, hit that, that subscribe, subscribe button. button guys. We appreciate you guys and we'll see you guys in the next video.